Hey guys, it's Mag Sinker with Convertible Turtle Gaming, and it is 8 a.m. Eastern, uh, a couple minutes past the fact. For those that are waiting for me, I apologize. It is once again time for the Legend of Zelda Breakfast of the Wild. That's that morning stream that I do where I take people out and uh, pretty much just see what we can get into. Today we're going to be doing our little scavenger hunt that we got put on at the Ancient Tech Lab in Hatano Village. And let's just get this pulled up here. Load up my Mag Synchro game. And hey, Shadow. Welcome to the stream again, man. Always glad to see you there. And a uh, guy's special shout out for Hoy and Shadow both for donating yesterday. Got the little ticker going for that. Uh, I never, when I started doing this two months ago, guys, I got to be honest, I never thought I'd have a little ticker like that going on my stream. I never realized, you know, that anybody would pay to see me just sit here and talk and play video games. So absolute special shout out for that. And sorry, I missed it when it happened that the setup I have when my, my living room doesn't look like I had a hurricane go through it. When I come home from work, I'll probably take a picture of my setup so you guys can see the the Frankensteinness that I have set up here. So you can kind of get an idea why I might not see the subscribe notification or something along those lines. Usually with a, uh, with a PC game when I'm streaming like say ARC or seven days to dollar or something along those lines, I'm doing it on a computer screen at the computer with my right monitor with the game I'm playing and the left monitor being OBS, and so I can see all those updates and announcements and all that. What I'm doing here is I've actually got the TV in front of me, and to my side, I've I've got the YouTube chat. So it's uh, not as easy to keep up with everything sometimes. Oh, yes, that's right. I was trying to get up that mountain, but... Um, that got way too cumbersome yesterday, guys. As much as I really want to get to that shrine, I really want to see if we can get somewhere else today, so... It's going to have to be on that list of things that we go to complete later on the 100% completion for this game. We missed this somehow the first time. Oh, wow, that's a lot of apples. I'm gonna feed as much of these as I can, I guess. Hey, Michael. Welcome to stream, man. Appreciate you coming on, man. And uh, a mystical morning. Sure, that, that that fits. That definitely fits. Mystical morning. Here we are going, getting some ancient stuff. Getting those uh, ancient uh, cores and ancient shafts. I know the video description kind of went for the low-hanging fruit this time. But it, it just too much of a... Kind of easy mark for me to pass. Oh, all right. We definitely got a number of things here. Hey, there's a there's a screw. We we don't need the screws though. We need the shafts and the cores. That's cool. We got a rupee out of it. Incredible, he says. Hey. Oh. That's cool. So one of those. Hey, there's a spring. 
still not really what we're looking for, though. I'm not trying to find these things. I hear something. I know it's one of those little slime dudes. And the thing with going through these ancient little dudes is that they can be active. Well, definitely appreciate you, Michael. Um, sorry that you got some insomnia going on, man, with everything that's been going on for you today. But um, happy to have you here, as always, man. So far we've gotten some screws and we've gotten some springs, but we have yet to get any shafts, we've yet to get any cores. Maybe those require something more than just working our way around the oh here's here's some goblins. We won't have anything really on them that we need, but... That's just the leg out there. You know, that, that, that could very well be true, Shadow. You know, the, not just, hey, there's a gear. We're, we're getting something new, new and different, at least. But, you know, I am... I have always been of the opinion that sleep is... One of those things that's variable for everybody, right? Um, especially based upon age, even. When I was much, much younger, and I mean much, much younger, because as everybody that knows me knows, I'm, I'm an old fart. Oh, no, Huyen, you, you didn't miss anything, man. I've just been kind of running around these little guys here and just uh, grabbing stuff out of them. Yeah, he, he missed, uh, yeah, probably about a minute. Uh, of important stuff, if you can call it important, even. But yeah, when I was much younger, guys, I used to be able to get by on four or five hours of sleep without a problem. I kind of got my body trained to it, and it got adjusted to it and regular on it. I was working, um, at one point I was working one job and doing full-time school, and then later on I was doing two jobs. And come to find out, it's not good for your body to be four or five hours, you start to just not really do well at all. Man, springs and screws and gears and... Can't even... Can't even move that. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, that's not good. Munching on apples. Do I have a nice little acorn? No, should look for something like that first. Oh. Oh, there's an acorn. Took that one point blank. Hey, fair king ray, that's good. Oh, that sounds so good. Alright, 
finally got one. And that's how you have to kill these things, guys. Is pretty. Uh, hey, we got a shaft. A couple screws. So we got two out of the three shafts we need. All right. It only took like most of our shields, our uh, champion shield that we got, Daybreaker. Um, not looking so good, but maybe, maybe I can get the timing down a lot better. So for these guys, the easy way to beat them, and I use that in quote marks, if I had a, a hand free, not both of them using this controller, is you whip out your shield, you face them dead on, you wait for a audio and visual cue for the little lens flare at the same time as a noise. Oh, one of these guys. Oh, you good dude. Now is not the time to mess with me at this point. I am not happy to see you. Matter of fact, I'm so not happy to see you, I'm gonna But yeah, so you have to take up the shield, you have to face them dead on, and you have to move toward them briefly. And while moving toward them briefly, hit the A button to do what's called a perfect parry. And you know, if it wasn't for the fact that I've been up for, what, 16, 17 hours straight, getting ready for bed and all that, one would think that my actual ability to do that would be a lot better than what it was. Nah, it ain't. And yeah, Shadow's absolutely right, man. Anybody who comes to watch the stream, if it's two minutes, three minutes, one minute, 60 minutes, you know, just the fact that you guys want to come out and say hi and watch the stream for a bit, that's the important part. You know, that's the, that's the appreciated part, right? Um, just came and, you know, come here and say hello. Um, that's just the cool thing. Yeah. That if you if you get enjoyment out of it, obviously you yourself would yeah. hopefully want to be here a little bit longer. Yeah. Oh, guys! It looks like there is another graveyard of guardians over here. So apparently the the desert dungeon that we defeated has something to do with these Yiga guys spawning all the time. That wasn't a bow, that was a restless cricket. Oh, these guys want to have something? Alright, I'm going to take these guys out too. You know, um, I play a lot of games like Rust, Austin. Um, I play Seven Days to Die. I play Conan Exiles. I play Ark, uh, Survival Evolved. Um, to be honest, the community in Rust, not so much even the game, the game looks good, but the community doesn't seem like a, a group of people that I really wanted to hang around. I mean, it's the same thing with League of Legends, right? League of Legends looks like a real good game. Um, but 
I have like, I don't know, 10 to 20 hours of free time a week. And I just want to spend that having fun. I don't want to spend that time getting yelled at, being called an idiot. Um, you know, I'm to, to quote a lot of people that have come before me and a lot of people that will come after me, I'm too damn old to put up with that shit. You know, and, and that's just kind of where I'm coming from. Um, if I was with friends and we we're just all hanging on like on a private server, if they had that kind of stuff, then maybe. But as it stands, I've got plenty of games that are in that same genre, so I don't see the the need to to do it. everything I've got on me right now, it's gonna have to be pretty good for me to drop this scimitar or this um, extra durability sword I have at the moment. Well, thanks, Hoon. Take care, man. A double axe. Now that, that I'll probably get rid of this axe for. Cause that, that's both functional and good, and you know, the fact that this sword's about to break makes me kind of sad. That's another claymore. All these two hand weapons. We got all the shafts we need, so there's that. Claymore, claymore, claymore. Okay. Looks like... Okay, that's the, uh... The stable over there that we're looking toward. Alrighty. a goat. Cool. One of these streams, guys, um, probably after I get the full stealth gear, I'm going to try to ride some of the more unusual things in the game. Um, I don't know for a fact if you can ride the goats or not. I think you can. I do know that, like, the bears and the bulls in the game, though, you can ride. But you have to have some pretty good stealth coming up for it. Oh, sadness. Looks like it can be blown up. Let's see what we can do about that. Blow it up and not blow us up. That's the that's the trick, right, guys? Oh, okay. Shield guard up by four. That could come in handy against one of these actual things if we get to them. The the guardians that have been kind of elusive. As badly as these things hurt, we kind of need another one to, to go ape on us. It looks like we're not going to get that out of this little area, which is unfortunate. We 
You got a lot of good vendor trash, though. I mean, for what they're what they're worth, and I think those can be used for weapons later on at the other research place, supposedly. I got to it on my other playthrough, but I just haven't really messed with them much. And we're going to take the left of this fort coming up. did not appreciate that. Why did the horse not appreciate that? GT Majora is kind of rambunctious sometimes. I haven't been able to figure out why she keeps bucking me off every so often. And looks like there's no beetle at the at the actual stable, so we'll just leave that be. So we're looking... Take a right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got a blood moon coming up, guys. Scene. The blood moon rises once again. I unfortunately do not know any form of an Asian uh, written dialect. So, whoever just joined the stream, we appreciate you being here. Um, unfortunately, um, it looks Korean from what I know of the languages. So I appreciate you being on the screen. I just unfortunately won't be able to communicate too well to you. Again, maybe because I'm whipping on her after she's past her peak. Let me see if that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Hey, Smazer. Welcome to the stream, man. Uh, not much is going on at the moment. Right now, we're just kind of going to track down some of these older guardians that are on the map. We're uh, looking for ancient cores at this point. We're probably not going to be able to find any with the progress that we've made on the game so far. So with that in mind, the secondary thing that we're trying to do is we're trying to make it to the Rito Village. Uh, unfortunately, I do not remember the, the name of the individual on the stream yesterday that was saying that it would be probably our best bet to head there so we could pick up Bali's Gale next. And to be honest, that's a real good idea. I mean, we've been having some, a little bit of an issue climbing some of the places. Uh, where exactly am I? Uh, you mean in the game, or do you mean in real life? Or Hotzello?
Okay. That's gonna be a possible problem, guys. We know he's gonna be awfully close. You know, for me, in, in the game, Marcelo, we are just. Just east of the Great Plateau, a bit, right? Yeah, I, yeah, on the west side of Dillion Peaks. Um, that is the problem. Um, I can carry a laser, probably one out of nine or eight of them. Um, wow. No wonder that thing hurts real bad. Okay. So that automatically gets the point. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's good to know. That that thing hurts when you're hit by it. Um Yeah, we are, we're kind of near the central Hyrule area, um, a little bit south of it. But that's what we're kind of doing, though, is we're, we're trying to find the guardians that are, that aren't mobile, but active. Um, matter of fact... When we get to this bend right here, we'll probably dismount GTA Majora and fast travel over here to the Eastern Abbey. Because I know that there's at least two of the actual um, guardians that are over there. He ain't too happy with us. It does actually. Um, it's amazing. It, um, the picture guardian thing. Uh, it the, if you get all 385, it counts toward 100% completion. Yeah, some of those pictures do cost 100 rupees, and that's kind of kind of the rub on it, right? I I know for a fact I'm gonna have to pay 100 rupees for the. Thunderblight Ganon because I got the camera after Thunderblight Ganon. Wow, that thing is just a beast. I, I don't want to waste it on these little guys, but. Hey, Harley. Um, yeah, it's, it's. You know, we all got personal things going on in our lives, so you, it's not like you have to be here every day or. Or on time, or even when the stream starts or stops. I got it set to where YouTube will upload the video, so if you still want to see what I was up to today, you can still watch the video then. Even. Yeah, we actually came from the Hatana at Gate Ruins, uh, at the fort over there. There's a lot of derelict guardians, but none of them that are just immobile. Alright, GTA, stand by. We're gonna go, not there, but we're gonna go down here. Because there's the two guardians here that are just, I call it a bait and switch canyon over here because when you're first starting to play, every guardian is a mobile. It doesn't do anything at all until you get to this shrine and then two of them jump you.
Yeah, we're gonna have to try to parry this again. All right, guys. All right, we got that one done. Give us a core. We really need a core, guys. Shafts and springs. Ah, we're just not getting any luck with these guys. I know there's one more. I want to say it's the one over here somewhere that's active. It does look cool when I pull it off, but for every time I do pull it off, there's there's times that I just jump the gun. And now we get to play that fun game, which is when was the last time I saved? It was probably the quick save right out of the, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Bravo game. <laughs> Take away my last five minutes of my life. Oh yeah, Michael. I, I die at least once or twice a stream. It's, it's kind of a given for the most part. Wind Cleaver, I like the whole lot. I, I just wish I didn't have to take it off those Yiga guys that hit like a freaking truck. You know, Shadow, that's a good question. I don't know if that counts as me blowing myself up or not. I mean, swinging my shield too early, I kind of feel like it doesn't. Because I wasn't the one to control the detonation device. For you of you guys that are joining us today on the stream, it's kind of been a habit that I've accidentally done. About every stream, I blow myself up in some way, shape, or form. Uh, stream number one, I actually blew myself up with a, uh, a Talus um, fight. I was right on the Talus, and I was halfway asleep, and I pulled out my bomb arrows, and I basically point blank ranged myself. <laughs> well, I deflected it, but not the way we wanted to. <laughs> All right, we're still deflecting them, just not the direction we want to. There we go. Maybe we'll drop the core this time. No. That's unfortunate. You know, one, one thing I did just discover, though, is I was incorrect in my thoughts on the actual technique. Um, apparently, I don't have to push forward in A at all. I can just push A. That might change the game, guys. 
that might be just a big game changer for me. I don't know. I do know I'm going to save my game right now. That way you guys don't have to suffer through me having to do all that again. Knowing that I don't have to actually be using the arrow button. He fell apart into some gears, and a shaft, and a spring, and a screw. That was all sorts of good stuff. And a gear. Hey, we got a frog. Awesome. So the good news is, is we got all the shafts we need so far. Just we have nowhere near the screws we need. And I think GTA is this way. Yeah, we'll just fast travel here and go down the GTA that way. Hey Marcus, welcome to the stream. Yeah, they they make me giggle too. I mean, if you if you look at the stream title today, it's definitely not a a PG stream title. But but it's it's pretty juvenile. I mean, eight year old me would laugh my ass off about what I call the stream. Thirty five year old me still kind of laughs. So you know. <laughs> Hmm. Have at you, he says. There's some guys fighting. Let's take this one out. Take that one out. See you, Hurley. See you tomorrow morning. Yeah. All right, so somewhere in all this mess is a tower. Oh, this person looks suspicious enough to where they're probably Yiga clan. I need grilled salmon. <laughs> <laughs> Enemy of my master, she says. Person's got a new weapon on him, and I bet. Uh... I need to start following Leisure Suit Larry's advice, guys. 
save early and save often. Hey, Tron Father, welcome to the stream. And yeah, that was definitely a rip. I, uh, I really should have had uh, my scimitar on. Would have been better if I had like a sword and a shield, both equipped. Did some stupid things. Is it just me or is her hair a different color, guys? Like, she was, like, dark-haired earlier, <laughs> I think, wasn't she? <laughs> A demon carver. That just sounds badass. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Um, we'll throw this axe away. Nothing like, you know, having a, a one-handed weapon that does more damage than the Master Sword when it's not powered up all the way. That's pretty good. This would be great. Uh, Marcus, yeah. Um, on this stream, I've only done Van de Boris. Um, I have another game that's my private play that I haven't streamed. And on that one, I've done the other three Guardian Beasts. Um, but on this one, I've just done the Van de Boris, um, Atano Village, and Kakarika Village. And even then, I've only done partials here and there. But uh, yeah, definitely uh, welcome to the stream, guys, and appreciate you guys being here today. So just enjoy uh, playing Zelda. Okay, so... So there is definitely a shrine nearby. Actually, it's going to be up on this mountain. I'm trying to remember exactly where it's at over here. Martin, welcome to the stream, man. And hi, Lute. Um, okay. If Lute is here, Martin says hi, or Martin May says hi. Maybe we'll get lucky and there will be a guardian that will drop a core in here. Passing of the gates. Okay. So we got a switch of some sort over here.
Interesting. And over here. Oh, wow, guys. So, um, I kind of remember this little thing. I kind of don't. I know I've beaten this particular shrine because the stable we're outside of I actually call that one the the woodshed stable because it's where I get all my wood at but I don't remember this particular shrine in its entirety which is interesting. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and put pillar here. Maybe. Maybe I don't remember this stable after all, guys. We've got to go to a different place. for not realizing that tilted everything. So yeah, I can definitely say within 100% guys that I do not remember the shrine. So um, yeah, getting to do all sorts of cool stuff now. So it looks like we just go ahead and shoot that. Grab this. Place it here, crawl up, grab it, place it back. Sure would be nice if it dropped all of our arrows for us. physics, okay. Now oh, the door's open. I think I just plant a bomb here and blow this thing instead of having to keep wasting arrows on it.
Well, that did not go quite anywhere near the way I was hoping to go, guys. Um, hmm. another idea one thing I really love about this game is that you can solve these puzzles any however you want to so that got the door open over here so I think we can time this to jump over that way. Maybe not. Arrow should be in the water, you know? I thought that would be the case, but I didn't see any when I was over here. Maybe it's the ice blocks got them all trapped. It could be just a water current even. Yeah, Link is uh, pretty durable. A feathered edge. Well, weapon space is becoming a bit of a limited thing. I'm gonna have to try to remember where that Korok dude is because, yeah. And Philip Warner and Comic Sans, thanks for joining the stream, guys. Appreciate you all being here. Just playing some Zelda and seeing what we can do with it. Uh, let's see here. Are we okay? We're 100 percent on the actual the shrine now, so we should just be able to shoot another arrow over there. Hopefully, glide right here. Yep, and we should be able to exit. So, you know, the curious part of me wants to know, at this point, why was that a metal chest? Just so I could try to drag it down, maybe, instead of having to fly up here? Got us another spirit orb. And now we get to see the loading screen. We're up to two, which is always cool. Um, probably the next, I don't know, 20 or so spirit orbs, we might go start devoting to stamina instead of hearts, to be honest. Let's see here. Oh, is that where our tower is, guys? Nope, not for this area. Not that one, at least. That one is. All right.
All right, so... As much as I like to just go plowing headlong onto the actual... Uh, one second GTA, we're gonna go over here and grab this axe. Oh, we already have the axe. It was a hammer we dropped. We thought we'd be able to grab that back, but we were just a little too impatient. All right. Scott Glenn, welcome to the stream, man. Appreciate you being here for Legend of Zelda Breakfast of the Wild. Uh, this is a stream we do every week, or every day. I myself, originally from Oklahoma, and I now reside in the state of Georgia, and that's the United States. So for those of you who are overseas in a different country than me, welcome to the stream as well. Um, I, I have learned um, early on in my life in this state that I have to make sure I designate the people that that is Georgia the, the state in the United States and not Georgia the country. Yeah, Scott, um, you did miss a good portion of the stream today, but that's okay. Um, it'll be fully uploaded to YouTube if you want to peruse it at your leisure. Um, usually takes YouTube a little bit. Oh, well, GTA, we're just going to have to abandon you. We're, we are trying to get to this tower. Oh, wow. Um, oh. First, we see a shrine with a little donation thing. That means that there's got to be a Korok here. Let's put that there. <laughs> you know, um, I've had a lot of different comments on my accent in general. Um, hey, this is one of those fairly easy to kill guys. Yeah. I want to get a big old ginormous sword weapon dude so we can him up real fast. But no, I'm actually from uh, Oklahoma originally in Georgia the state. This is where I'm now. And oh, is this... This is going to be one of those towers that I say before we attempt, guys. Because that looks like a fairly functional guardian. Ouch. Timing is just a little bit off. To quote Maxwell Smart, missed it by that much. Absolutely. Hey, Brandy, uh, this is Mag Synchro Convertible Turtle Gaming. I'm, I'm saying your name because your husband, Scott Glenn, said I should say your name. Well, no, it, it's, uh, Chad, it's kind of a common thought process by a lot of people that live streaming is just people just sit around playing games pre-recorded and then uploading it. Kind of like infomercials, you know? The infomercial people kind of speak to the TV and say things, and people think they're talking to them. Or, uh, you know, uh, PBS channels, that kind of stuff. 
But yeah, I have, I have no problem doing shout outs to people for things that are important like that. My shield broke, we are shieldless. Okay. This has just become a real fun tower to get up, guys. Oh, not a problem, Scott. No problem at all. I've, I've had a similar kind of situation come up several times in my life, so I'm always willing to pay it forward for my fellow husbands and wives out there. Alright, so we have no shield. At some point we should go fight a bunch of Okabans to fix that. But for now, we're going to do some creative climbing and hope for the best. TIS student? Yeah, absolutely having fun, man. I appreciate it. And you know, Scott, um, they're really easy to kill in the fact that you just kind of strafe them around in circles. You are right. As far as ease of use goes, um, if you are really coordinated, which um, about this late in the day for me, because I, I, I wake up at 5 p.m. Eastern, and go to bed at 9 a.m. Eastern, and yeah, if you guys are following along, that means I'm up past my bedtime, so don't tell my wife, um, because she might be like, why didn't you get to bed on time? But, um, but yeah, so about this time of day, especially when I'm playing for you guys, I'm not as coordinated as I'd like to be, or, or able to think straight even sometimes. Um, that's why I usually wind up blowing myself up at times. I, at least that's so I say. It just could be that I'm just a bad player, I guess. Love the view we get on these towers. They're just beautiful. Grab Stefan, hello man, welcome to the stream. And yeah, we usually stream guys on this um, every day, every morning at 8 a.m. Eastern. Um, I say morning because it's my time zone frame of reference. And we stream until 9 a.m. Or until we get a, a minor goal accomplished, whichever kind of hits that ballpark. So Central Hyrule map, we got it now, so we can see where the castle is and everything else. And for what we're trying to accomplish today, um, we did manage to get some shafts. So I'm going to go back over here to the actual lab. We're going to get an upgrade and we can fast travel back to where our horse is nearby. And this will be where we're at for the stream tomorrow. And when we come across some more guardians, um, we'll go ahead and take uh, Scott's technique in. The only thing I don't like about that technique, Scott, is it puts a lot of wear and tear on your melee weapons to do that. And I kind of like a lot of the weapons I got in my inventory at the moment. And I know it's kind of one of those things you got to get over when you're playing this. Um, we may just go back to the greater desert also tomorrow and get our shield replaced. Because the, the gold shield we got destroyed earlier on the stream today. Oh. Alright, we're going to give her the shafts, guys. 
And she's gonna upgrade the bombs for us. I've done the magnesis thing with the guardians. Um, I've done the bomb thing. <laughs> yeah, bomb upgrade. I know, Shadow. You're as excited as I am about that, right? And look, the blast is stronger, and the cooldown is faster, which means I have more chances to blow myself up every stream now. So I know you're excited about that. But yeah, the, the first uh, Guardian I ever fussed got was the one outside the initial bomb trial. And I actually fought that with bombs. And it was one of the longest fights ever. And I, it just was just not a real feel-good experience. I, I was not happy with the amount of time. Because when you get a bomb, right? Especially if you played every single Zelda game before this one. I'm talking Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, um, Link's Awakening, um, Twilight Princess, you know, uh, Link to the Past. When you get the bomb, that's kind of like the be-all, end-all weapon for just doing a lot of damage, front-loaded damage, and just wiping things away. And when it turned out it was not that, I was I was slightly just kind of let down when I got the rune. Oh, guys. See that? That is something we're not going to be messing with at the moment. Not today, at least. But today, guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and call the stream here. At this point, we're going to save our game. And I'm going to go to bed because that's what I do at this time of day, sadly. And we'll be back tomorrow, guys. So appreciate you guys joining me today when I'm playing Zelda. It's always a blast. So Shadow, Michael, Huin, um, Austin, Harley, Smizer, Orcello, Marcus, Tron, Comic Sans, Philip Warner, Scott Glenn, um, Michael Wester, TIS student, Grap, all you guys that are on today, really appreciate you coming to see me play, guys. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and call it for today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, same time, same YouTube channel. So appreciate it all. And you guys have a great day today.